It's the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. The child. It's the Mandalorian and his firstborn son. The child. It's the Mandalorian and a little green alien guy from Toy Story. The Claw. Hello friends, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and today we are taking a brief look at the brand new Mandalorian and Baby Yoda Brickheads. This set contains 295 pieces, is suitable for ages 10 plus, and costs $20 for the pair of them. As with most Brickheads set, what you see is pretty much what you get, so let's take a closer look at this set and see what it is that we actually get. With no minifigures, no real play features, and a kind of abstract art blocky design, I can understand why some people aren't super crazy about Brickheads. A lot of times I feel the same until LEGO introduces figures from franchises that I'm a fan of, and then I end up buying more Brickheads. A lot of Brickheads don't have a ton of details, and that's not the case with The Mandalorian. He's actually got a lot going on, which almost makes it a little cluttered looking with the tiny space that LEGO has to work with, but in any case, he's got binoculars, he's got some little accessories attached to his boot, two weapons being a blaster pistol and his signature Mandalorian rifle. The cape on his back and his helmet have some nice details. And you can definitely tell he is the Mandalorian before he gets the full Beskar armor because there isn't much dark gray below his helmet. There's just a lot of those brown colors uh, mixed in with the occasional blues and oranges that give the Mandalorian his signature look. As for Baby Yoda or the child or the asset, whatever you choose to call him, he is as simple as you would expect for the Brickheads medium. He does come with his signature hover pram and it is hovering on a couple of clear blocks. Uh, Baby Yoda himself pops out of his pram and so you can see that these are two completely separate pieces so you can have Baby Yoda hanging out by himself alongside the Mandalorian, and I think the proportions look pretty good at this scale. The box for this set does almost introduce a play feature for Baby Yoda in that they show his ears positioned like this as a happy pose, and then you can flip them over, and that's what Baby Yoda looks like when he is sad. Honestly, I think Lego did a really good job with this Baby Yoda figure. He's instantly recognizable with his big puffy coat and oversized eyes and ears, and somehow, even in this tiny form, he's still very cute. The build for this set, as you would expect, was relatively simple. It does consist of mainly small pieces, so still took about 30 to 45 minutes for both figures. There was one relatively interesting build technique where the front two halves of the Mandalorian's helmet were actually built and inserted sideways, but other than that, most of the build was relatively straightforward. If you've built one Brickhead set, you've pretty much built them all with some minor changes in colors and details. That being said, it's still a fun build and is still worth your time, in my opinion. So my final thoughts on this set, if you're a fan of Star Wars or The Mandalorian or just Baby Yoda, which at this point, let's be honest, who isn't, I think this set is worth picking up for $20. This set doesn't take up much space, it's relatively cheap, and should help to hold us over until the Razor Crest comes out a little later this year and Season 2 of The Mandalorian comes out sometime after that. If you've got negative thoughts on the Brickheads line or Baby Yoda himself, you should keep those to yourself. It's 2020, the world's gone crazy. We need some things that are a little more good in the world. And I think we can all pretty much agree that Baby Yoda is unequivocally good. So just let us have it. Just keep your negativity to yourself and let us all have the goodness that is Baby Yoda. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for many more like it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bet you like that final episode of The Mandalorian. It was awful. Those scout troopers kept punching Baby Yoda. It was the worst thing the Empire's ever done. I mean, hasn't the Empire, like, destroyed entire planets? It was the worst thing the Empire has ever done. Okay. Okay.